Thank you very much, Deputy Speaker. While we were not part of the oversight visit to the Compensation Fund headquarters in Pretoria, problems facing the Compensation Fund that was exposed by COVID-19 and what we have always said as the EFF, problems facing the whole of government's stained on entities and statutory bodies is lack of capacity, continuing corruption and in inability to fully lead society. And these oversight visits at times are a waste of resources because of recommendations are ignored and the recommendations don't deal with the real problems. The main challenges facing the compensation fund speaker is the real, uh, rel uh, reliance on the third parties to carry out its core business. And it is this open up to compensation fund fraud, unpaid medical claims and unregulated involvement in unauthorized third parties. The people who suffer this incompetence is workers. When they need the compensation fund the most because of medical practitioners that refuse to treat them. But you cannot solve problems facing compensation fund if you do not fix the public health care system. When workers are injured on duty, they rely on private hospitals because the public health care have collapsed. You also cannot solve problems facing com the compensation fund if you do not build state, uh, build state and government capacity and stop the misguided and unsustainable reliance on tenders and third parties. Competition, compensation fund must stop outsourcing its legislative mandate and build internal capacity and must report on measures play in place to build this capacity. As we support some of the recommendation of one of a full forensic report be provided on all investigations and cases of fraud against the, the compensation fund, the nationwide inspec uh, inspections and investigations to be continued with particular regards to fraud, medical claims, and the IT uh, support is provided for the end users of ComEasy system. Internal audits should visit provinces in order to investigate what is happening in provinces. The minimal service agreements concluded with the PIC is monitored and there are to be consequences for non-performance. Therefore, Chair, the Hawks and the police must conclude all investigations and people who are looting must be arrested. We do not support this political, uh, particular uh, report, uh, Chair, because we still have seen that our people are still struggling with the compensation fund. That's why the EFF have started a labor desk to help the, the workers of South Africa. Our people are still struggling out there. And just to bring a report that doesn't fix the, the, the problem of society and the working class out there won't help the the. the the people of South Africa. We need to put the work at hand and stop coming with reports that is just sugar coating that will anyway just collect dust as all reports and oversight reports are, are doing of any committee of this parliament because all our oversight reports are doing is just a tick box exercise and that must stop. The corruption that have happened currently on, on COVID and have been exposed in, in the compensation fund must also be at, uh, stopped. And we urge the Hawks and police and the minister, he must also provide us a list of, of investigations that he himself is carrying out and cases, what case numbers of individuals um, that cases have been opened. I thank you.